Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. Bernie from Elliot Wave Pro. Getting straight into the Weekly Outlook. Looking at the DXY on the daily. Nothing's changed on the daily. I'm looking for this ABC. I'm just waiting to see if we're going to get any more upside in here. Well, not on the lower time frames. On the H4, we did get the 5 down. Did get the 5 down in here. And we got a nice impulse up. But then we got that sharp impulse down. If I just zoom in a little bit. So this was very difficult to trade. Um, we were looking for the buy. We got this after this nice impulse up. We were looking for a buy. But we're just looking for a correction. Um, instead we got this sharp move down. And now we got another sharp move. So more than likely now. We'll get a, a, a correction in here. And we'll get another one up. For an A, B, C up in here, and then you get the A, B, C as some sort of a running or expanding flat before you get an A, B, C. Um, this so far doesn't really look all that impulsive, um, you know, having this very deep correction here. Um, so, yeah, we're really waiting to see what sort of correction we get. If we get a correction in here for the upside or we get an impulse down and a correction this way, but downside, really got to watch the price action to see what we get here. If we get this scenario here, well, then we get an A, B, C, and then the A, B, C for the flat before we get the A, B, C. So, yeah, it's going to be quite difficult to trade. We're really just waiting to see what sort of correction we get. Um, AU on the daily. I'm looking at that AB, and I was looking for that C up. That never went. Instead, we got this one, two, three down in here and an impulse up. We're starting to correct in here. I believe that we're going to get more upside for this ABC here. After this correction's over, this does look very bullish in here. H4, we got the five up. We got the five up in here. We got like an A, B, C here. It tried to go but never went. So it's becoming more complex. Looking at this A, B, C here, A, B, C, and then uh, A, B, C. Before we get an A, B, C, and then an A, B, C. So this can take quite some time now before it goes. Um, we'll have to be careful getting into it too early. But I still believe it's bullish. Um, and even the H1 is telling me that it's bullish. We do have this ball hidden here. Um, and... We got this nice impulse up, but it's very deep, so it is going to be very dangerous to trade, um, you know, for this upside. Um, GU on the daily. It's looking for this C up in here, like an A B C. We got the five up on the H4 as well. Um, and we're getting this very sharp move down in here. So this is more bearish. I'd be waiting for a correction in here. And then you could look for at least a C down for an A, B, C. And then if you've got a buy set up, well, then you could look for another five up, like an A, B, C. So, yeah, really waiting to see what happens in here, what sort of correction we get. EU. I was looking for this, uh, like, A, B, C. This B wave looks like it's going to become more complex. And uh, I did show this in a video i done how to identify an Elliott Wave impulse. 
and using the MACD's account waves, you can go and have a look at that video I done. But um, in that video, I showed that this may become more complex and we get this, this is a flat in here. We get like an A, B, C in here and then you get an A, B, C before you get the A, B and the C up that I'm looking for. Um, here we got the five up on the H4. We got those five up. Um, we did get like one, two, three, four, five down in here on the lower time frame. If I just go down to the H1. This is pretty standard stuff, this. Um, you know, we had that like one, two, three, four, and a fifth one down. We had that bear hidden in here. So we could look for that one down. That's broken the low, and we've got bullish divergence now. So you'd be going down onto the lower time frames and looking for a buy. <clears throat> um, more than likely, you get five up in here. Three down, then another five up before you get three, uh, five, three, five. So, in a larger correction, I'll be looking for a correction. Um, looking for a correction in here before we get another five down, breaking that low, um, for that flat. And, uh, yeah, but you have to wait for a correction now or you're looking to buy into the correction. The safest way is to wait for the correction to be over and then sell. And you on the daily. So you can see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that A, B, and a C up in here on the daily H4. We do have the five up. We did have a bull hidden in here. I think I mentioned that last week. Um, we had that bull hidden in here, and I said, best to wait for this to be broken and then wait for the correction before trading a C down. We had that ball hidden and it's gone up and broken the top. So now it becomes quite difficult because we have all these impulses. We have an impulse, impulse and an impulse. So I'll be expecting a correction in here and you get another one down. And then you get an A, a B and a C before you get an A, B, C completing a larger correction before we get another five up. GY on the daily, <clears throat> we've got all this bearish divergence like I've mentioned over and over again. So I'm only looking for cells. Um, this one has broken that top there now. I mean, this. I mean, this this can be a flat in here, um, for more upside. So we get an A B C, um, and then we get it like an A B C, some sort of larger flat, um, before we get more upside. I'm really only looking for cells at this stage when we got all that bearish divergence. And even on the H4, we got a lot of bearish divergence on the H4. I, I, you can only really sell this. And this may be the opportunity to get into a cell this week because we have a nice impulse down now. So if you get a nice correction in here and a cell set up, you can look for at least a C down. More than likely, it'll turn into five down um, and we get a larger correction um, from that daily, you know, because, you know, I'd be looking for a 50 fib retrace of all this.
So, you know, could be a lot of downside to come when it's ready. At this stage, you have to wait for that correction on the H1. USD Japan, I'm looking at this A, all this is a B, and we get a C down in here for some sort of larger flat before we get more upside. Um, on the lower time frame, there is a chance that we get another one up here. We're looking for this time factor like I've gone over many times before in the past. Um, we're looking for this time factor before we get W, X, Y, X2, and then we get a Z up. Um, so I'd really like to see this come down in here to give us that A, B, C, and then, you know, we can start to look for that buy for that wave Z up to break the top. Um, other than that, you know, I'm really just looking for cells. Um, you know, not really looking for buys. And there is no sell on it. Um, I dare say on the lower time frame would have a bolt in, hidden in here. Um, but in saying that, you know, H1, we do have one, two, three, four, five up with the bearish divergence. We had that ball hidden in here to give us this fifth wave up. If you do get a correction in here and a sell setup, you definitely can look to sell. USD CAD. This is very complicated. You know, we've got that one, two, three, <clears throat> four. We didn't get that fifth one up, breaking the ending point of wave Y. Instead, we've got this very large correction in here. Very choppy, very messy. Um, um, me, personally, I'd stay out of it. Um, you know, more than likely, we've got a little flat in here, an A, B, C, and we get like an A, B, C up in here. We do have a ball hidden here, so I wouldn't be surprised if that top gets broken. <clears throat> Other than that, you're really just scalping this pair because it's so choppy. You're really just scalping it. And at this, this point in time, you know, this is what I'd be looking for. There's some sort of an A, B, C here, a little flat on the lower time frames, and then you get an A, B. If you've got a bullish setup on the lower time frames, you could look to go and break that top. Um, very risky trade, but we do have that bullish divergence, so definitely wouldn't be surprised if that top there gets broken. The Swiss franc and the USD, nothing's changed on the daily. I'm waiting for that correction. We got a nice impulse up. I'm waiting for a correction in the B wave and then I'll look for that C up. H4, I'm waiting for this X2. Um, we got a W, X, Y. I'm waiting for this X2 and then we get a Z down. So I'd pretty much leave this alone until we get that time factor in X2 and then you could look for that wave Z down. Yeah. Oh, I was looking for a flat here on the smaller time frames a while ago, like this A, B, just get a C up in here and then more downside instead of it gave us that impulse up another impulse down it's all looking impulsive at this stage so it's hard to find the correction um but yeah at this stage i'd definitely be leaving alone we don't have a ball hidden here to go up and break this top here like an a b c so uh yeah i'd definitely be just staying out of it until you get that time factor, and then you can start to look at it. EG, if I was uh, anyone that trades EG, Euro, uh, British Pound, 
you definitely want to take notice of this, um, you know, on the daily. I was looking for that lot one, two, three, four, five down that extended wave. And, you know, ever since we've been getting this C down, I've been saying, you know, we can get down to this 100 fib for that, like A, B, C. It's getting closer and closer to that 100 fib now. And we're getting all this bullish divergence. So any buy setup, like I said, for the last few weeks, you know, any buy setup you get on this, you definitely want to look for the buy. I'm on a buy in here from Friday because, like I just said, any buy setup I get, I'm going to be looking at buying this. The downside here may not be over yet. Um, you know, we, we do have one, two, three, four, five down, but we don't have any bullish divergence. So we may just just get a correction in here and then another one down. Um, if that happens, and my entries are around here somewhere, you know, if that takes me out, break even, um, you know, and breaks a low, I'll be looking for it again. You know, I'll be looking for that buy. Um, any buy setup you get, you can look for the buy. I took it on the lower time frames. So, um, you know, if you're looking at the H1, you really want a nice impulse up and a correction. And then, you know, you can join in and look for the buy. Definitely worth something to look at. WTI? This is maybe become more complex too. I was looking for that like A, B, C, but this may give us another one up in here. St I'd still be looking at this as the B wave, then get an A, B, C. H4, um, we got a much larger correction. It's much larger. So I'm not really looking for this as a, a wave Z up. We have to be very careful here um, because we do have a bear hidden at this stage. It is starting to consolidate up here. You really want to wait for a nice correction and then look for a buy. Other than that, um, you got um, you know this can give you a sell set up and come down and break that low and that bear hidden plays out. So if you're looking for the buy, you got to be very careful. Just because we got an impulse doesn't mean we're going to get a correction in here. So, yeah, uh, you will have to be quite careful. It is looking rather bullish. Um, you know, we're starting to get a correction. Oh, oh, we got a nice impulse up. We're getting a correction. Um, if you do get the buy set up, you can look for it. Um, just keep in mind that there is that possible bear hidden on the H4. Gold. So on the H, sorry, on the daily, we've got that WXY. We're getting this X2 here now and we're looking for that wave Z up. We're waiting for this time factor, like I've mentioned. It's getting very close to that time factor. Um, we do have the bullish divergence in here that in this A B C in here. We do have that bullish divergence, but it's doesn't look impulsive. Um, it's very deep. It looks very corrective. Um, I would uh, you know would have really liked that to go and break the low. It didn't. Instead, it gave us like a. An impulse up, and it's it's a very deep correction in here, and we're getting another one up. I, I don't like it at this stage. You can scalp it on the lower time frames. Um, you know, if I just go down to then fifteen quickly, you know, we got an impulse up in here. We're starting to get a correction. Um, you can look for that correction and and look to buy. Uh. But it's really just to break that top. Um, 
so yeah, you definitely want to be if you if you get into a buy setup around here somewhere or wherever, um, you really got to be a break even at the break of that top because this still can just give you one, two, three, just break that top and fall over on you and go and break the low. So yeah. Looking at silver, I won't go into it too much. <clears throat> We're looking at uh, this WXY, waiting for that time factor. And then we'll be looking for the wave Z up. Really, this one's nowhere near that time factor yet. So um, I would be waiting. We got the five up on the H4. We're getting a larger correction. Wait for that time factor and then we'll start to look for buys. That's the safest way. Um, Bitcoin, looking at this last section here, we're looking for this fifth wave up, looking for this like W, X, Y, X2, and we're looking for this Z up. We are starting to get a correction in here. Really would like this to go. Um, the H4, we, <coughs> excuse me, we did get the five up in here as well. This may be a flat here, though, you know, um, as an A, B, we're getting a C down now. So, you know, I'm only, only really looking for buys um, at this stage. You can see on the H1, we're getting all this bullish divergence. So I'd be going down to the M15, waiting for this, waiting for a nice impulse up here, breaking that top, then giving us a bullish setup. And then I'll be looking for the buy. Until that happens, um, yeah, it's still you still may get another one down here. We may have a bear hidden in here that comes down, breaks a low. Or this is just an A. We get a B in here, a C, some sort of a regular flat. And then you get an A, B, C. If you get some sort of a correction in here, you can look to buy, you know, um, like this does look like it's starting to correct. Like we get an A, we get a B. If you get this C down in here and then a buy set up on the even lower time frames, well, then you can look for at least an A, B, C. And that may take off on you. Quick look at S&P 500. And it's going to be a very quick look. We've got all this bearish divergence on the daily. So I'm not really interested in buying, you know, especially on the daily. On the H4, we got the five up. Um, it's breached both the targets. It's gone straight past the 123.6 and the second target, that 161.8. <clears throat> um, we're getting that bearish divergence. You know, I, I mean, this is still looking very much bullish. If you want to scalp it, you can. Um, but yeah, this will come to an end soon, you know, I mean, it's looking very much bullish. You know, you can scalp it like this. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, it's looking at bullish at this stage. Ideally, I'd like to see another higher high than a nice impulse down and a bearish setup to sell. You know, more interested in the sell than the buy when we're right up at these highs. AU200, we got this, like, a, B, C up, it bounced off that 100 fib. Um, and it's sort of stayed up here. I would be leaving this alone because, I mean, it's an impulse, 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 impulse. Unless we're looking for some sort of a triangle, you know, an A, B, C, D, E as a triangle, um, you know, uh, we go up from here. Um, that's all I can really look at at this stage. It's it's a triangle um, at this stage, so it's very difficult to trade. I'd be looking for the buy, um, but... Yeah, there's no there's no buy set up on it. This may even turn more complex just looking at the price action too, because that's quite sharp. This is corrective. We may just get an A, a B, and a C up in here, and then you get an A, B, C. 
So, you know, you'd be going right down onto the lower time frames, just trading a C up and it may take off on you and it may not. So quick look at the FTSE. FTSE, we're waiting for that time factor. Um, looking for this like W, X, Y, X2 and a Z up in here. Really waiting for a time factor here. You know, this is so choppy in here. It's very similar to AU200. This can be a flat here, and we've got that sharp move up, a B wave, and you get a C up in here, and then you get an A, B, C. So you could look to buy that C up and then look to sell that C down. Lastly, looking at the DAX. We have got the bearish divergence on the daily now um, between the two tops. This was looking quite bullish last week. Um, it didn't break out and, and um, give us a higher high. Really, um, I mean, it's... it's it's still pretty much bullish, isn't it? Like we got like one, two, three up, no bearish divergence, getting a larger correct, and we still can go up and break that top. Um, yeah, I mean, there was the reason why we got that. Uh, I did mention. I'm pretty sure I did mention. Um, well, it might have been during the group, but we got bearish hidden in here, and it's given us another one down. So more than likely, we'll get another one down in here. We get a correction, and then another one down. Then if you get a nice impulse up and a bullish correction, well, then you could look for the buy. But at this stage, I don't think it's ready. It's more of a sell. You'd, I'd be wait, waiting for like a correction in here and looking for a sell. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the week now. Look, if you did, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you out there next week.